It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to week four or five in a disastrous two-month stretch of recording of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, fourth week of July, Riverwalk Lanes, Amesbury, Mass. We are truly doing our best to destroy the reputation of TV lane number seven, and since I can't bowl worth a damn at all for the last two months of recording, I might as well just say that the magic has finally died. So again, we're bowling on lane number seven, no good games at all. Why should it start now? Game one, garbage. Game two, garbage. Game three, garbage. All that's left now is to get 60s, then 50s, then probably get a new low score. So how bad will this one go? Let's find out. And of course, if they decide to play music, the audio will be muted. But since there's no video, it's not that much more of a project. Of course, Watch Me Suck at Bowling is proud to sponsor the hit Candlepin TV show, King of the Palace, where you can watch people that are actually good at this sport. To do so, just type in King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar. If you like what you see and you want to subscribe, go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to see new videos when they come. And now for the video of bowling that is quite the opposite of this. Frame one, game one, ball. Well, game ball one. Might as well be over. Haven't had a good game since last month's Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Why start now? Two minor lobs we let live. If it was really bad, I would. Decent start of eight. But you know, it'll just go worse from there. And for those of you who like the pin setters, here's a Bowmore Model E in action. So far, it's actually a pretty good start. We got the 8 and 1 and a spare and 2. So far, we've got an 18 with El Stinko the bonus ball to come. The way things are going, it's probably going to be a lousy fill. Well, let's see what happens. Free 3 ball 1, El Stinko bonus ball. What will the horrible bonus be? Yeah. but look at what's left. Ball two. Ball three. Go figures. So far, we can 
make it a hundred. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself. Ball two. Of course that happened. Look who tried. Let the crap fest begin! Seven and three, six and four, still a decent 36, but we know how things have been going. Frame five, Bowen, believe it or not, another good bottom end of average game as possible. Not putting a lot on it. Deja vu, seven and six yet again for a total of 49. Still, average is possible, all beyond the lower end. Frame seven, ball one, the hope is dying. left. Worst case of nine bucks. Holy crap, another mark a uh, bonus ball. That'll suck. Frame eight by one. El Stanko the bonus ball. How low will the bonus be? Suck. Why should it be different now? It's a three. Ball two. Ball three. Curse of the fill indeed. We got the spare in seven and a five and eight. Three of those making the fill. Only a 67. Bottom of average, still a thing. Frame nine, ball one. Bottom end of average is still possible. Out of nine games, out of two months recording, it would make only that many. But I think it'll just stay at that many.
the ball actually went where I wanted it to. Last frame, ball one, El Stinko. What crappy number will it be? Messed up. El, they let El Stinko be a good one. Ball two. The bowling odds really screwed up. This game actually wound up being average ability. Ball three. Come on, we all knew it was going to be a punch out. But hey, it ain't it the worst. I believe the king pin for a nine and for once after so many games. Not only a good game, but one of average ability. Who knew that was going to be a thing? It looks like the only thing that saved this game are, as I call them, the bookends. Frames one and two were pretty good with the eight and the spare. And 9 and 10 with a spare with a very good fill of 7. And two more from frame 10 to make it a 9 for a 93. Everything else in between besides the spare and 7 and only the spare and 7 was total garbage. In spite of that, somehow a 93. That will wrap things up for the fourth week of July's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Coming to you from Riverwalk Lanes in Amesbury, Massachusetts. This is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.